Hello, my name is Jonathan Lee. I'm a communications executive here at Eagles Communications. Peter's Ponderings is a ministry started by volunteers. Our vision is to instill courage, provoke thinking, and to be an extension of God's love. If you are blessed by this ministry, you can follow the ways to give on your screen to bless even more people. We thank you for your giving and your generosity. A young boy asked his father, What does it take to be a leader? After some thought, his father replied, All it takes to be a leader is to have a follower. The wisdom writer agrees with this simple yet profound insight when he asserts, The mark of a good leader is loyal followers. Leadership is nothing without a following. The authors Kuzis and Posner define leadership as a reciprocal relationship between those who choose to lead and those who decide to follow. If there is no underlying need for the relationship, then there is no need for leaders. As in any relationship, what is critical in leadership is trust. Leaders gain trust when they lead with integrity. When leaders in an organization inspire trust, their followers make commitments of loyalty and high performance. For an organization to demonstrate a spirit of performance, the management guru Peter Drucker indicates that there must be leaders who possess integrity of character, have a vision for the purpose of their organization. Executive integrity is crucial to creating an organization with a high spirit of performance because the character of an organization's management serves as an example for subordinates. What then are the contours of integrity? Firstly, integrity is seen as consistency. Integrity shares the same root as integral, which means forming a whole complete or essential to a whole. An integer is a whole number, not a fraction or a portion. It points to a consistency of character in public and in private, between a person's walk and talk, beliefs and behavior, profession and performance. It describes the leader's essence, the person of the leader at the core. As has been pointedly defined, integrity is what we do when no one is looking. Bill George calls it authentic leadership. He says, authentic leaders genuinely desire to serve others. They are more interested in empowering the people they lead to make a difference than they are in power, money or prestige for themselves. They are as guided by qualities of the heart, by passion and compassion, as they are by qualities of the mind. They lead with purpose, meaning and values. They build enduring relationships with people. They are consistent and self-disciplined. When their principles are tested, they refuse to compromise. Such consistent leaders are principled and there is no need to second-guess their response in any morally ambiguous situation. Their clear moral boundaries determine the culture of the organizations they lead. Their human resource policies are fair, compassionate and empowering. Small wonder, we all want to work with such leaders. Secondly, Integrity can be seen as priority. Max Dupree asserts, Integrity in all things precedes all else. The open demonstration of integrity is essential. Followers must be wholeheartedly convinced of their leader's integrity. 
Since leaders are always in public view, perceptions become a fact of life. Leaders understand the profound difference between gestures and commitment. Leaders must not only preach values of integrity, they must also be seen to behave and respond with integrity. All leaders develop a public narrative that is held up to public critique. Whether interested parties interpret a leader's public assertions as explanation or justification or excuse depends on how high integrity is seen or believed to be placed in his or her priority. Thirdly, integrity can be seen as humility. Jim Collins identifies humility and fierce resolve as natural expressions of personal integrity. He describes such a person as a level five leader, never boastful, but acts with quiet, calm determination. He or she relies principally on inspired standards, not charisma, to motivate. More importantly, the level five leader looks in the mirror, not out of the window, to apportion responsibility for poor results, never blaming other people or external factors or bad luck. A humble leader is cognitive of social and relational realities. Such a leader knows the contributions of others to any successful enterprise. He is quick to acknowledge how others compensate his inadequacies to produce effective results. She is not afraid to empower others by giving them room and opportunities to peak and flourish. Humility is the mark of a secure person. A person full of himself is likely to be empty and incapable of recognizing others in his social or professional relationships. Another unmistakable characteristic of a humble person is gratitude. Max Dupree contends, the first responsibility of a leader is to define reality. The last is to say thank you. In between the two, the leader must become a servant and a debtor. A humble person exudes gratitude easily, naturally and genuinely. Her sincere appreciation for others and providence acknowledges the reality that we are all clients of God's mercy and candidates of His grace. Only a humble person can see himself as a servant and a debtor, not a master or a patron. There is no surprise why we feel affirmed and empowered when we follow such a leader. Fourthly, integrity is seen as honesty. When a leader has integrity, she is perceived to be genuine and therefore credible. Kuzis and Posner say the first law of leadership, if we don't believe in the messenger, we won't believe the message. The leader not only is truly humble in her achievements, but also honest in her struggles. There is no need to be on a pedestal and pretend to be someone she is not. Surprisingly, the vulnerability in being transparent with one's struggles will increase the leader's integrity. Leadership is essentially a relationship between the leader and the follower. What makes for good relationships is trust, and integrity is what makes leaders credible, earning the trust of followers. Kuzis and Posner found in their research that credible leaders raise self-esteem. Leaders who make a difference cause people to feel that they too can make a difference. They set people's spirits free and enable them to become more than they might have thought possible. Kuzis and Posner also discovered that the credibility of leadership is what determines whether people will want to give a little more of their time, talent, energy, experience, intelligence, creativity, and support. 
Only high credibility earns intense commitment. And commitment will ultimately enable people to regenerate great businesses, communities and economies. Integrity becomes an indispensable attribute of effective, respected and admired leaders. Indeed, all it takes to be a leader is a follower. Ancient wisdom is still valid today when it reminds us that leadership is nothing without a following. We follow the people we trust. And we trust leaders who have high integrity. Leaders with high integrity energize us, stretch us, grow us, and eventually nurture us and hone our own abilities to lead purposefully and effectively. We hope that you've been blessed by this pondering session. This is the question for you to ponder on and discuss with your group. Thank you for watching and we will see you at the next session.